The wonderful thing about tiggers is tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made of rubber, their bottoms are made of spring. They're bouncy, crouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about tiggers is I'm the only one. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Math and Silly Hats. Today we're going to be looking at identifying parallel and perpendicular lines. This Alex topic, they're just going to have you take a look at different images of parallel and perpendicular lines, but if you click the hyperlinks for those definitions, you'll notice that it gives you a little bit more information when you compute here. Parallel lines, specifically, are two lines, the same slope, which never intersect. And you'll notice they have a symbol that looks like the two L's I've written in parallel, just to remind us that parallel lines never intersect. And they look exactly like the L's in parallel. Perpendicular lines, however, do intersect at a 90 degree angle, and the symbol looks like this. And you can even see in this symbol, you can see a 90 degree angle on either side of those two intersecting lines. So if we were to see an equation for two perpendicular lines, we'd notice that their slopes are negative inverses of each other. In other words, one would have a negative symbol, one would not have a negative symbol, and the fractions effectively, if they had slopes that were in terms of fractions, would just be flipped upside down. Or, for example, if one had a slope of two, the other one would have a slope of one half. But the good news is, today we're doing easier work than that. Let's take a look at what they're asking us. So here we're just asked to look at a series of graphs and identify whether or not each graph is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we have to kind of eyeball this, and you'll notice that there aren't the same symbols that I've drawn on my graphs. So here, I don't see a right angle, but these kind of look like an acute and an obtuse angle. This one here, see, well, these are very clearly perpendicular. You can see that they even follow the grid patterns for perpendicular lines. Here, again, these don't intersect, but they will. If we were to extend this line, we would see that it intersect about here, and we'd have one very acute and one very obtuse angle if they were to extend and intersect. And then finally, we have two lines here that obviously will never intersect. In fact, they're both along the horizontal part of the coordinate plane. So going back to our definitions, we can take a look at what these mean. Before we make our decisions, parallel lines have to never intersect. So for each of those examples, when they intersect, whether it be at 90 degree angles or not, they will not be parallel because parallel lines never intersect. So now we just have to make the decision of those which will intersect whether they're perpendicular or neither. Perpendicular lines always intersect at right angles. So if it's in a geometric diagram, you'll generally see that little right angle symbol. If they do not intersect at right angles, then obviously they're neither. So inside Alex, we're gonna look at this first diagram and it looks like we're actually able to tell the slopes of these two lines. Looks like here we have a slope of rise one, run one, and rise negative one, run one. And those are negative inverses of each other. So these, though we can't see with a indication of a perpendicular symbol or a right angle, are certainly perpendicular. These are very easy to tell. They obviously intersect at a right angle. We can even make a little right angle symbol right here. So these are perpendicular. These two don't intersect in the picture, but lines extend forever in both directions. So they will intersect here if we were to extend this line. And you can see they would intersect at non-right angles. So these are neither. These two lines both have a slope of zero. They're just horizontal lines and they will never intersect. So these two are parallel. Hopefully you found this useful and you're able to progress through your Alex topic. I hope you have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.